All right, guys, so I have 13 ounces of shredded hash browns. These were just frozen shredded hash browns, but you do want to let them thaw, so you don't want to cook, try to make this frozen. We're going to use a half cup of fat free, 98% fat free cream of chicken soup. We're going to use an eight ounce package of the fat free plain Greek yogurt. And I took about four of these sausage links and cut them up into small pieces. And we're just going to mix everything up in this bowl. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we're just going to add everything to our bowl. I'm going to season these potatoes a little first. So I'm going to add some chives. And you can season it however you want to. I'm going to add a little slap your mama seasoning and this gives it a little kick but that's only if you like that like I said you could put anything you want in salt pepper garlic powder onion powder whatever I'm going to add some pepper just some black pepper and I'm going to add some onion powder mix that up a little we're gonna add in our cream of chicken soup you don't have to add everything in any particular order because we're just gonna add it all into this bowl and mix it up Add in your yogurt. I'm just going to mix that up a little. Add in our sausage crumbles. And if you want, you can omit the sausage altogether. I just wanted to add that in mine. And then we're going to add half of our fat free cheese and half of our light cheese. So a quarter cup of each. We're just going to mix that in. We're going to save our other half of the cheese for the top of this hash brown casserole. Now I'm just going to spray my little pan. I'm using a pie tin and I'm going to spray it with a little cooking spray just so it doesn't stick. And we're just gonna add our mixture into the pie tin.
spread it out guys get it spread out kind of evenly all over the pie tin Now I'm just going to add on top of this the rest of our cheese. guys so now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to put it into a preheated 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes I'll be back all right guys so here is the finished product and if you want your top to get a little more brown you could just take your foil off about five minutes so about at 35 minutes because I did cook this for 40 minutes and let it uh, put it on broil for a couple minutes just to brown it up up top. But I am going to cut this into six servings. It will be four um, points per serving on the Weight Watchers Blue Pan plan. I'm sorry. So there you go, guys. It's an easy breakfast idea. I'm going to be having this with some fresh fruit, and that's what I'll be planning to have for breakfast all week. So there you go. And this makes it for a good Saturday morning or Sunday morning breakfast to go along with whatever else you want to put with it. So definitely try this recipe out, guys. Alrighty, I hope you like it. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.